And well, as we mentioned earlier, a setback in reopening of the Texas economy today as Governor Greg Abbott has announced the indefinite closure of bars as well as rafting and tubing businesses. Joining me now to discuss the financial impact of reclosing these businesses, especially bars, is Austin Business Journal reporter Daniel Salazar. Daniel, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. Of course. So many of these bars are already struggling. They've only been back open for a month or so after a 10 week closure. Now they've got to shut down again. Could this be the final nail in the coffin for, for some of them? Yeah, I, I think the sad reality is that, yes, I think some businesses will probably have to close permanently as we move closer to a full shutdown like we saw in the spring. I mean, just over the last few weeks, even more uh, bars, you know, in the Red River, district closing with Barracuda being one of them. Restaurants are pressed as well, just with Magnolia Cafe on Lake Austin Boulevard closing. So I think, you know, it's hard to, it's hard to hang on anyway, if you're a bar or restaurant um, in Austin, just with rent and property taxes. And so this pandemic is really pushing some of those businesses over the edge. Uh, I mean, like you mentioned, bars closed uh, or th they were able to reopen May 22nd and they, they have to close today. I mean, five weeks uh, really, being open since March isn't going to cut it if you're a bar. Yeah, it's still unbelievable to hear names like Magnolia Cafe Staples, you know, in our community for so long having to shut down. You know, the first time around, several bars had to lay off employees and apply for loans to stay afloat. Does that same process start over again today? Is it different at all this time around? Yeah, so bars hurt by today's decision. I mean, they've been hurting since the beginning of the of the pandemic, um, and there are still some options that are that have always been available. If they haven't tapped them yet, they can turn to now. The Small Business Administration, the SBA, they have a economic injury disaster loan uh, program, as well as the uh, the Paycheck Protection Program in the through the CARES Act. Although there's a deadline coming for that uh, up up next month. Um, one thing that is different is that there is uh, more. Th there's a lot more local programs on the ground than there were uh, during the first shutdown in the spring. Austin is using some CARES Act funds as well as uh, Williamson County, Tra Travis County, uh, and some other cities are offering grant and loan programs of yeah. their own as well. We just have a few more seconds. I woke up to the news, of course, of bars, and I thought, what's next? I mean, if, if other businesses mm -hmm. have to shut down, what do you think could come next? Well, you mentioned it just in terms of uh, of tubing and and uh, raft rental places. You know, these are some of their best months, so that they'll they'll certainly be pressed. Uh, bars and uh, the suppliers for bars are also facing pressure. And then, just more more broadly, I mean, you still have to worry about uh, folks like hospitality, just because mm -hmm. they're such a huge part of the economy. And any momentum toward uh, business and leisure travel um, uh, returning uh, definitely spells trouble for those those folks. Yeah, absolutely. And we're thinking about everyone out there affected by this. Daniel Salazar of the Austin Business Journal, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you.